Hello, my name is Luke, and I'd like to introduce you to Eidolon. Eidolon is an open source framework to help you build and deploy agent services. In this demo, we're going to go over an example that will allow us to define an agent, customize its capabilities, and then eventually deploy it to an agent machine. With that, let's get started. I'm going to pretend to be a developer hired by Travis Kelsey's PR team. My goal is to build a basic conversational chatbot so that Taylor Swift's fans throughout the world can learn more about Travis, Kelsey, and football. Eidolon makes this simple. All we have to do is define a Kubernetes-like resource where we will also specify our system and user prompt, as well as an input schema, which we can use to template these two fields. Now, in order for our agent to be useful, it's going to need access to real-time information. Let's define a logic unit to give it the capabilities to search the web. Here is that logic unit. You can see that it consists of two parts. On top, we have the configuration, where we define what can be customized in the spec, and down below, we have the implementation. Now let's add this logic unit to our agent's CPU so that it has access to it. What is an agent CPU? This is the component which abstracts away calls to the LLM. We'll get there in a minute. That's all it takes to make a working agent. But this isn't enough to deploy. In order to deploy, I will want to add some safeguards on my inputs and my outputs to prevent users from doing things like using me as their own copilot. Say if they just wanted to generate Python scripts, I don't want them to be able to do this on my dime. As well as on the back side, I want to make sure that we're not generating any problematic uh, material about Travis Kelsey or Taylor Swift. So in order to do this, I am going to expand the concept of the CPU so that we can validate our inputs and our outputs. Anything in IDOS is arbitrarily pluggable, and this includes the CPU. Here I've defined a custom CPU to validate our inputs and outputs. You can see that this looks a lot like the logic unit where we have a spec defined up above and our CPU defined down below. Now we don't need to dive into the code, but what we are doing is taking our inputs, throwing them off to a validator to be validated, generating our response, and then validating this against the output validators. Now, if we still have problems, we will then regenerate the response and repeat again until we have something that all our validators are happy with. And what better to use as a validator than another agent? So I've defined two more agents, one for Taylor's uh, PR team and one to validate that our inputs are not malicious. You can see these look just like our other generic agent with a system and a user prompt as well as an input schema. Now let's add this back to our Travis Kelsey expert. First, we want to point our CPU at our new implementation, and then we need to add our custom validators uh, based on our specification. Now let's start up our agent machine. This is going to start a HTTP server where we can reach all of our agents. One of the nice things about making all of our agents accessible independently is it means we can test them individually. Let's try out our, uh, our input validator. Nice. Now that we know that our input validator works, let's see the whole thing running together. I'm going to jump back up to our Travis Kelsey expert and ask a simple question. Let's go with, how did Travis play on Sunday? Now let's head over to our server logs to see what's happening under the cover. We see our request and we can see that we are checking it with the input validator. And the first thing that happens is we make a web search to look at the performance. Now we head back to our original uh, Travis Kelsey agent who's going to try to aggregate this information to a response. We see that our output validator would like it to be a little bit more positive, so we're going to head back to our agent to regenerate it again. The second time, uh, we work and everybody's happy, and, that, uh, and we get the response back. Wonderful. Congratulations, you've just built a basic deployment using IDOS. To summarize, we have created three agents, one to drive our conversation and two to validate our input and output respectively. We've created a custom logic unit to allow us to access the internet. 
as well as created our own CPU implementation so that we can validate our inputs and outputs. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and perhaps can use Eidolon in one of your projects.